Hello, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're given an ellipsoid, x squared plus 2y squared plus z squared equals 7, and the point 1, negative 1, 2. And we're asked to find two things. The first thing we're looking for is the equation of the tangent plane at that point. And then second of all, we're looking for symmetric equations of the normal line at that point. Well, let's get a visual of what's happening here. First of all, I want to find the tangent plane. A plane you can think of as this rectangular piece of paper, but remember, a plane is going to be going forever in all of the different directions. What we're going to do is we're going to set this plane and orient it so it's just touching my ellipsoid at that single point. So what we want to do then is find the equation of this plane. The second part has to deal with getting equations for a normal line. Now, when you have a plane, the normal line is going to be a line that comes out perpendicular to that plane. So if I had my plane at that point, my normal line would be coming out like that. OK. Let's go ahead and find these particular equations. So first of all, I know that I can find the equation of a tangent plane by taking the partial with respect to x at the point 1, negative 1, 2, and multiplying that by x minus 1. I'll then add the partial with respect to y at my point 1, negative 1, 2, and multiply that by y minus a negative 1. I'll then add the partial with respect to z at 1, negative 1, 2, and multiply that by the quantity z minus 2, and that's going to equal 0. OK, so in order to get this equation, I'm going to need those first partials. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the partials are with respect to x, y, and z. So the partial with respect to x. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and write this as a function of x. So we're going to write this as f of x, y, z equals x squared plus 2y squared plus z squared minus 7. And the partial with respect to x is going to be simply 2x. The partial with respect to y at any point, x, y, z, is going to be 4y. And the partial with respect to z at any point is going to be 2z. All right, so for my tangent plane, this first partial is going to be 2 times x. And the x coordinate is 1, so that will be 2 times 1. And I have that times the quantity x minus 1. I now need to take the partial with respect to y at the point 1, negative 1, 2. Well, I know that partial is 4 times y, so that's 4 times negative 1. And I'll multiply that by the quantity y plus 1. Next, I need my partial with respect to z at the point 1, negative 1, 2. I know my partial with respect to z is 2 times z, and z in this case is 2. And then I've got the quantity z minus 2, and that whole thing equals 0. So I have 2 times the quantity x minus 1 minus 4 times the quantity y plus 1 plus 4 times the quantity z minus 2 equals 0. A little bit of algebra, I'll have 2x minus 2 minus 4y minus 4 plus 4z minus 8 equals 0. Combining like terms, I have 2x minus 4y plus 4z. And combining my constants, I'll have um, a minus 2 and a minus 4, that's minus 6, minus 8, so that's a minus 14 
equals zero. And that's the equation of my tangent plane. Okay, so now I'm ready to move on to get the symmetric equations of that normal line. So I know that the normal line is going to have the same direction as the gradient of f. So let's calculate the gradient of f. So the gradient of f is going to be the partial with respect to x. So that's the 2x times my vector i plus the partial with respect to y. So that's 4y times my vector j plus the partial with respect to z. So that's 2z times my vector k. And I'm interested in the gradient at the point 1, negative 1, 2. So that's going to be the vector 2 times 1 or 2 times vector i, plus 4 times negative 1, so that's negative 4, times my vector j, plus 2 times 2, so that's 4, times my vector k. Now remember, this gives me the direction. So I know that because I have the equation of a line, my x is going to be x1 plus a times t which in this particular case is going to be 1 plus a gives me my direction. So that's 2 in this case, 2t. y then is going to be y1 plus the direction times time. So y is going to equal y1, which is a negative 1, plus my direction. What's my direction? It's negative 4. So that's a negative 4 times t. Looking at z, z is going to be z1 plus my direction times time, which in this case is going to be 2 plus, and my direction is 4, so that'll be a 4t. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these equations and solve it for t. So when I solve this one for t, I'm going to get x minus 1 all over 2 equals t. And this equation is going to lead to y plus 1 all over a negative 4 equals t. And this one is going to be z minus 2 divided by 4 equals t. So my set of symmetric equations is going to be x minus 1 all over 2 equals y plus 1 all over a negative 4, which equals z minus 2 all over 4. And I have my symmetric equations for my normal line. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.